Yo, what's going on? Welcome to another edition of Tuesday Talks, episode two. My name's Hunter Reese. I'm an independent musician, artist, songwriter, producer, guitarist, content creator, all the words you can think of. That's gonna be me. <laughs> so last week I started a new thing called Tuesday Talks, where we just hang out, talk about maybe current events, maybe music news, anything going on. We're just gonna vent, we're gonna hang out, start things off with believe when every day you try and be a little bit better you reevaluate with yourself don't care what other people say don't care what other people think you can hear it you can listen to it but what matters is what you want to do for yourself reevaluate yourself ask yourself how could i've done that better how can i be closer to the person i want to be what are my goals how do i get closer to that and just try and take a step in that right direction every day it's tough it's really tough not to compare yourself to others I'm always looking at other people's numbers, wondering why my music's not doing the same numbers. Why am I not on tour? Why do I not have a hit record? Why have I not sold more songs? Why don't you like me? Just stop. If you keep putting your best self out there, the world catches up to who you are and what you're doing. Just keep trying. The only way you fail is if you stop, if you don't try. My Denver Broncos, we're one in five. We didn't use seasons. They just won five in a row. Five, or six and five. Everybody said, worst team, worst defense. Offense can't do anything. They let Miami score 70 points. Okay, what did they do? They said, what did we do wrong? How do we do it better? And they won five straight games. Had to give some love. Believe in yourself, because you can do it. But what's going on this week? Let's see. Um, I saw recently BMI, Broadcast Music Incorporated, New Mountain Capital, is now a majority shareholder of BMI. BMI is a performing rights organization. They go out, and when my song gets played, or someone's on the radio, TV, someone sings at it, whatever, they cover it. They go out, they say, this is Hunter's, and they go get some royalties for me. Money, money, money. That's what they do. That's what a performing rights organization does. Fortunately, in my case, it doesn't happen that way. It's like pennies. There's no money coming in on that front, but that's what they do. That's their job, and I assume they do it for other people. <laughs> we'll see what happens with that. Universal is still fighting generative AI. Say that it infringes its copyrights because of the music on its label is being used to inform these AIs of what good music is, and then it's spitting something out. And they're claiming that either nobody can copyright it, or they're being infringed upon the AI machine learned off of their tracks. Which I just think is kind of interesting, because when I start playing guitar, I learn songs. Learn a John Mayer song, and I go, ooh, G to C sounds nice. I learn a BB King, and I go, ooh, 12 Bar Blues, Ed Sheeran, wow, that guy's, this pop, Sound over this chord sounds incredible. This Led Zeppelin song rocks. I want to learn it. All we do is learn, and then I spew out something that's in the voice of Hunter Reese. It's in the style. What comes out is me. Sounds exactly like what generative AI is doing. It's going to be interesting to see where this falls. I don't think a machine-created thing should be copyrightable by a human, but how could you prove that? How could you say that guy's false? He created that with AI. That girl didn't really sing that. She didn't write those lyrics, she used an AI. I don't know how the checks and balancing system would really work with that, so we'll see. But I think it's ironic because Universal has been robbing artists for decades. Forget Peter, Paul, and Mary. Right now we have Daryl Hall suing John Oates. Music Rex? If you're familiar with the band Broadside, killer new album called Hotel Blue. Upbeat, catchy, poppy, fun, good energy. I... I've streamed it a couple times now. I've listened. It's awesome. So I highly recommend it. Go rock it. And if you're looking for some new fun energy, there's a band called Sucker Punch that I found recently. Their song Freak Show is incredible. Uh, I've been going through their whole back catalog. It's just fun to listen to. The guy's got an incredible voice. The band shreds. So check that out. They're called Sucker Punch. Go get it. Unrelated. I watched Five Nights at Freddy's. So boring. I know there was like a thing going around. I know you're supposed to hate the one that Nicolas Cage was in called Wally's Wonderland. Willy's. I think it's Willy's. Willy's Wonderland because it was a total ripoff of Five Nights at Freddy's. I highly recommend Willy's Wonderland. It was awesome. That movie was so much fun and so good. You could pass on Five Nights at Freddy's. And if Possessed, Amusement Park Animatronics Killing People doesn't interest you, get out of here. Do not hit that subscribe. Do not hit like. If that's not the kind of thing you're into, what are we doing here? <laughs> uh, good energy, I'm sending you away. You deserve it. So when you get up, when you look in the mirror today, you are awesome. Not me. You. This is what you got yourself into. Episode 2 of Tuesday Talks. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being awesome. My name's Hunter Reese. Don't forget, 
believe in yourself. Dream big, baby. We out.